Welcome one and all to Seahawks Central News. I'm Laura Delabadia. And I'm current sponsor. This week we'll be taking a look at assault and safety on campus. Along with several student performances. Stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. The UNCW Campus Recreation Center presents the first annual Seahawk Plunge. On February 22nd, participants will jump into the frosty waters of the leisure pool in the Student Recreation Center. This event celebrates the NIRSA National Recreational Sports and Fitness Day and is held to raise awareness for the Rape Crisis Center of Coastal Horizon Center. The RCC educates and raises awareness about sexual trauma and supports individuals and families who have been affected by sexual trauma. A UNCW group will dig for plantation remains this spring. Anthropology Department Chair Nora Reber will lead a field school at the Brunswick Riverwalk Park beginning May 15th. The group will search for remains of Alfred Moore's Bacoy Plantation. Students will search for artifacts of the rice plantation for a month. Significant discovery could put the park on the National Register of Historical Places, and this could allow more opportunities for grants. UNCW's Chapter of Habitat for Humanity is enlisting the help of UNCW students and the Wilmington community. This organization is looking for donations to support their annual trip to Florida. The trip occurs during spring break, and the volunteers spend the week building a house. They plan to raise money through bake sales, car washes, GoFundMe accounts, and a fundraiser at Jason's Deli. They currently have $100 and hope to raise $2,000. The UNCW College of Health and Human Services and the Office of Research and Innovations will hold a discussion on diabetes and obesity. The Coffee Hour Diabetes and Obesity Prevention takes place on February 22nd in McNeil Hall in room 3084 from 10 to 11 a.m. Coffee will be served to those who attend. UNCW Theater presents their latest play of the 2015-2016 season. The Barrel at Thebes reenacts Seamus Henney's verse translation of Sophocles' tragedy, Antigone. The performance brings to life the opposing voices of family and state conflicts about the truth of power. The play runs through February 18th to the 21st and 25th to the 28th on the Main Stage Theater in the UNCW Cultural Arts Building. The UNCW Communication Studies Department presents Cabaret at Studio 125. Attendees will enjoy on-the-house coffee while they watch original scenes, monologues, poems, and songs created and performed by UNCW students. The play runs from February 26th to the 28th in the Lucy Hall TV studio. The annual Moulin Rouge Spectacular Spectacular took place last weekend. The Association for Campus Entertainment hosted the showing on Friday, February 12th in the Lumina Theater. It included a partial shadow cast, and the first 100 people in line received prop bags that included blowing bubbles, fake money, candy, and more. Attendees also had the chance to compete in singing and in costume contest. This event is a UNCW tradition and occurs every February. A few amateur drag performer performers showed off their skills last weekend. The UNCW amateur drag show occurred on Friday, February 12th in the Warwick Center Ballroom. The event was sponsored by UNCW Pride. The amateur drag performances were judged by local Wilmington drag queens. The first place winner has the opportunity to perform at Divas Live, a local drag show. A classical guitarist will appear on a UNCW stage for a night of eloquent melody. Musician and multi-time competition winner Robert Tent performs on February 25th at 7.30 p.m in the Beckwith Recital Hall within the Cultural Arts Building. Tent has performed and taught in other countries such as Italy, Brazil, France, Germany, and Venezuela. A physical assault occurred on the UNCW campus last Thursday the 11th. A female student told the UNCW campus police three men attacked her around 8.30 p.m. She described the attackers as wearing dark clothing and ski masks. The assault occurred in the H parking lot near the water tower and across from Friday Hall. UNCW campus police quickly responded to her call and they sent an email to all students, faculty, and staff to inform them about the incident. 
The police increased patrolling the night of the attack and told everyone to be alert and aware of their surroundings at all times. One student sees the TV series Doctor Who as more than a science fiction show, but as a place to gain insights to life. This student submitted a line said by actor David Tennant in the episode Human Nature, written by writer Paul Cornell, for this week's student spotlight. I'll, I'll admit, mankind doesn't need warfare and bloodshed to improve itself. Everyday life can provide honor and valor, and let's hope that from now on this, this country can find its heroes in, in, in smaller places. In the most Of deeds. You can be our eyes and ears on campus and in the Port City area. Send us any bits of information you would like us to report on or investigate on, as well as submitting your photos and quotes, all to tealtvnews at gmail.com. The time comes for us to sign off this week's episode of Seahawk Central News. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Laura Delabadia. And I'm Corinne Sponsler. Have an excellent weekend. Continue soaring high, Seahawks.